All right, guys, we can start laying on our backs in a Supta Konasana shape. So you can bring your feet together. Let the heels come far away from your pelvic area and just start to rock left and right. Start to wake up the hips. David, here is your card, sir. Life gives us choices. You either grab on with both hands and just go for it, or you sit on the sidelines. All right. So just start to deepen your breath here. Awaken the muscles in the body and start to let this and allow this to be an active pose. If you'd like, you can bring the bases of the feet together. Just rock the hips open. And with the first breath, let's go ahead and gently roll the shoulders down into the earth, stretching the heart up. And as you exhale, you can relax those shoulders, maybe wiggle the nose and rock around the jaw a little bit. And repeat that three times here. Waking up our throat chakra, opening up our heart chakra, just beginning for the middle of the week. the next breath, we'll start to move down the body into the low ribs and the belly. If you want, you can spread the feet out nice and wide and take four or five deep breaths here, beginning to engage your deepest core, maybe breathing warmth into the low back, into the ribs. Maybe getting extra saucy and trying to press the low back, the ribs, the belly button down into the earth. If the legs are still open, you can stretch them out nice and wide here. Nice, long and wide. And then with the next few breaths, let's squeeze the glutes and start to press our heels down into the earth as you inhale. And as you exhale, you can let them go and wiggle the toes. Maybe rock out the ankles. And do that a few more times with your breath cycle. Let's go ahead and roll over to the left side of our mat. So you're on your side. You can keep the legs long. You can bend the knees a little bit. Rest your the side of the left of the head down on the earth. Let your cheek rest on the shoulder and bring your right hand down. And just take a few deep breaths here. We usually do this at the end of class, but just connecting down into the earth. Maybe you could imagine that the earth is feeding you as well energy as we rise into our midweek. With this last breath, go ahead and relax the jaw as you exhale. Relax that right shoulder and the top leg. And either thinking about your affirmation card or something that you'd like to embody into your day. Take a moment here. And we'll take our time to gently begin to press ourselves up onto our side and then roll over, come forward and begin to come into tabletop. Take your time. And instead of jumping right into cat and cow, 
We're gonna take some shoulder rolls, gazing in the opposite direction. So David, I'm gonna come a little closer so you can see, but I'm gonna start, and you guys start on whatever side that feels good for you. I'm gonna to gaze to my left and just start to roll the right shoulder, allowing that right elbow to bend and the right fingertips to gently lift and come back down. Moving with the breath. If it would feel good, you could shake the hips, press them over to the left as you work, the right side body. You could even make yes and no movements with the head. And then make sure that you take that shoulder rotation in the opposite direction as well. Lifting and pressing forward and down as you exhale. So a common cat and cow is a great way to wake up the body, but you guys have a solid practice. Sometimes you just want something different. Let's come back to center. And this time, keep the gaze down and the neck nice and long and just start to sway the hips left and right with the breath. Option to bring the gaze to one side or the other as well. Feeling the belly pull in, feel the tops of the feet press down. And then we'll come to stillness. We'll bring our gaze to the other side and start to draw those shoulder circles with the opposite shoulder. Remembering that you could move the hips, you could rock the head up and down, making big yes movements. And then take that shoulder rotation in the opposite direction. Come back to center. Let's go ahead and begin to walk ourselves into a plank. A lot to start with, right? Let the shoulders come together, the belly come in. Close the eyes here and press your pinky fingers down into the earth with a slight bend in the elbows and take three full breaths. Drawing the energy up from the earth, through the arms, into the belly and heart and finding softness between the shoulder blades and in the neck as you exhale. After your last exhale, we'll go ahead and start to walk the feet up toward the hands, coming into that ragdoll shape. And start to sway left and right here. And today I'm gonna to encourage you to bend the knees and maybe lift the heels as you sway. So we're waking up not only the low back, but also the back of the legs. Take some big yes movements. And then come to stillness. Spread all 10 toes out nice and wide. And take three deep breaths in a true ragdoll shape, letting everything just sink down. Release your bind if you're having opposite elbows grasped. And take your time. Slowly begin to roll all the way up into mountain pose eyes open and right here let's set up a true mountain you can gaze at the feet you could take both fists bring them together and make sure that the feet are about two fists hip width distance we haven't done this in a while in my class we can rock forward and back on the heels to the toes and press that pelvic bowl forward and back until we feel steady over the knees and ankles. Gently begin to pull that belly in and then think about the ribs. Can you pull them down toward each other? Shoulder blades roll up, the palms are open. Relax those kneecaps and take two deep breaths. Tall, confident mountain truly connected with the earth. Beautiful. On your next inhale, we'll sweep the arms up, gaze up. And as you exhale, we'll take a nice gentle side bend over to the left. Left, er, left fingertips can come to the hip or the thigh. Go ahead, tuck the chin, gaze up toward that right elbow, keeping the chin tucked. Inhale to reach a little more. 
And then as you exhale, we're gonna sweep that right hand over and down. And then inhale, bend the knees, extended mountain, come all the way up. We'll take it to the other side. Begin to bend on your exhale, inhale. You could bend the knees and shoot that left hip out a little more. And then sweep it over and down. Inhale, root to rise, come up. Let's do that two more times at your pace. Inhale and melt. Deep inhale to stretch it open and sweep. Let the breath and the earth guide you up. Take that nice side bend to the other side. Rotate it down. And we'll take this one more time. Your pace, how you're feeling, moving with your breath. Mm. We'll meet in that extended mountain. So make your way back up, fire the fingertips up, look up. And very slowly, with soft knees and engaged belly, press the hips forward and come up off of the heels, all 10 toes. Take a nice big, big breath here. As we exhale, we'll keep the heels up, but lower the arms, release and wrap the fingertips together at the low back. Inhale, open the heart, we're lifted. And as you exhale, bend the knees, lower the heels, forward fold, stretching these shoulders out. You can tread the knees if you'd like, or bring more weight into the toes. And let each inhale reach those shoulder blades together and the fists up. Maybe your whole torso comes up. And each exhale, bend the knees and deeper down, let the shoulders relax. Really intense here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, pour it down, release. Last one. Exhale to pour it over, release your bind. Go ahead and roll out the wrists, those shoulders. We'll paint ourselves up to a nice gentle halfway lift. And then go ahead, drop the hands. We'll step back to that high plank. Three deep breaths, very intense as we did earlier here. Feel strong and press the tips of your pinky and your ring finger down as you move, maybe even the middle finger. As you exhale, lower all the way down to your mat, release the top of the feet. Let's bring both hands out to a T, palms face down and rest your forehead on the earth. Can you press your pubic bone a little bit more towards the earth here? And as you breathe, feel that energy not only coming into the body through the belly and the forehead, but also that last chakra right down there at your base of safety. Gently begin to draw the hands in. We're gonna come into a Sphinx pose. Shoulders are together, gaze comes forward. And then inhale, bend the left knee. And then we'll drop the head here and flex that left foot. Gently draw the left heel towards the left glute, waking up the front of the left thigh. Now for the next breath, maybe not so gently, draw that left heel towards your left glute a little bit more. Exhale, release the left leg down. We'll make a big yes movement with the face. Draw the shoulder blades back together, and then we'll bend the right knee, drawing it toward the right glute. Breathe here, and then flex the right foot, draw it even deeper in towards that right glute. Feel the top of the right thigh pressing down as you pull the foot in. Exhale to release. 
Let's make one big yes movement. Beautiful, come all the way down. We'll bring the hands to the low ribs. Let your toes come to the earth. And then inhale up to cobra, in through your plank. And then exhale up and back, down dog. Relax the kneecaps. And notice how warmed up and loose the body already is, even though this is our first downward dog. We'll take one more breath. Open the mouth, side out, let it go. And paint the left leg up, three-legged dog. Let's rest here, relax the left foot, relax the shoulders, relax the fingertips and the head. And even though you may think, hell no, Jesse, this is not a resting pose, where can you find some softness in the body that's up above the earth? And where can you allow the earth to feed you that stability? Take one more breath. As you exhale, draw the left knee toward the nose and let's roll ourselves up into warrior one. Take your time. Shoulders drop. I invite you all to close the eyes. Find the big toe of the left foot and the pinky toe of the right. And then draw hands to heart center. Relax those shoulders that work so hard, holding up the world for us. And let the world hold you up for two more breaths. Beautiful. Blink the eyes open. We're going to wiggle that left foot in and then pivot the right foot coming into warrior two. Release the arms nice and long. Beautiful warrior, Shayla. Let's flip the front palm, reach forward and reverse your warrior, stretching out that left leg. Right hand can come behind the back or to the leg. And slow, inhale, bend back in, reach forward. Exhale to reverse. Keep flowing with your breath. And as you come forward, I want you to think of the first thing that comes to your mind that you're reaching for. Is it a feeling? Is it a mood? Is it a goal? Is it love of some type? This last time as you reach, imagine you're grasping it. Exhale, full reverse that warrior. Let's all take one big breath. Press your left toes into the earth as you reach the left fingertips up and then begin to come back into your warrior two. We're gonna pivot the right foot to face the top. So we're in this high lunge, arms reach up. As you exhale, press the hips forward and come into crescent by reaching back. Look up, find distance between the fingertips and the hip pointers. And then as you exhale, slowly unwind, we'll fold, plant the palms, step back into your high plank, take one full energetic inhale. Exhale, come down to the belly. And then a gentle, soft painting into King Cobra. So just lifting and extending the arms. Exhale to lower it down. Let the arms come back out to a T and let the forehead melt. Take a gentle shake of the hips here. And feel the earth breathing up into you as you breathe here. Let's bring our hands back to the low ribs. We'll take one more back bend. So keeping the tops of the feet down, begin to roll up into King Cobra or maybe an up dog is ready for you right now. Exhale, rolling up and back, downward dog. Let's take an audible breath here. Deep breath in, lift the heels, lift the hips, open the mouth, sigh it out. Right leg paints up, three-legged dog, and then find softness 
Relax the foot, the head, the shoulders, and focus on that earth, supporting and breathing up into you through the hands, through the pads of the left toes. One more breath. Exhale, warrior one, right side. Allow the arms to lift up. Maybe soften into that right hip and then release the arms. Let's stack them over the heart this time and close the eyes. The beauty of a morning practice is that it can serve so many purposes. There's so much space for that. And for us, we focus a lot on that meditative and energetic. Clear your mind of what you reached for in your last warrior two. Keeping the eyes closed, let's physically clear ourselves of what we reached for. So release your hands and shake them. Shake the wrists, flex the fingers, wiggle the fingers. And then without thinking, begin to rise the arms up. We'll come into warrior two, reach the arms forward, open the eyes. This time, lean forward. What is the first thing that comes to mind that you're reaching for? And then exhale, pull it into you. And flow, let's do that about three more times. Hmm. Reach. Reach for what you see and you crave. And this last time as we come back, imagine you have pulled it into you like a bright light or a warm feeling. Inhale, extend the right side body from toes to fingers. Feel that strength. Feel that you're holding on to what you've been reaching for. And then as we exhale, we'll release back into this warrior two. Go ahead and twist the left foot forward. Walk the right out. High lunge, lift up. And this time as we exhale, we'll come into cactus arms, open up the heart and allow your cravings, your goals to be open to release to the universe. One more breath. Beautiful, inhale, look up, release the arms and then go ahead. We'll plant the palms and take a chaturanga. You can come to the belly if you'd like. Up and back, downward dog. Use the breath to align your down dog. Check on your personal cues. What do you normally tense up here? Find your checkpoints. We all have common things in our down dog that we tighten. Your practice is your discipline. And the more you develop, the more you know about your practice, the more detailed you can get. Take two more breaths. Left leg is going to paint up softly behind us. This time we're going to point the left toes and as we let the left or the right heel melt, the shoulders melt, instead of being soft, I want you to bend the left knee, exhale, and then inhale, lengthen the left side body up and out of the earth. As you exhale, step it forward. We'll come back into that warrior two. This time, keep the arms down. Find your drishti, and then begin to wrap the hands behind you, grabbing opposite elbows. Shayla, it looks like this. If that's not comfortable for you and it's too tight for the shoulders, you can grab opposite wrists or hands. We're going to lean forward, this time with our gaze. See what you crave. And then as we exhale, we reverse our warrior. Keep the chin tucked as you look up. 
Imagine you're drawing it into the heart and come back forward again, bending in. With arms bound, we can embody this feeling of drawing in what we want, but not tangibly, energetically through the heart. Take this two more times. It's also really good for our core. Beautiful. Go ahead and land back into warrior two legs. Release your bind. Roll the shoulders out. We're going to hold our hands in front of us. Thumbs face up and then begin to twist the palms so the thumbs face down and the palms are away from you. An internal rotation. Shoulder blades draw together. And then an external rotation. Palms switch. Pinkies shoot up. Relax your left knee and your right knee and continue with these rotations. Beautiful. Release the hands. We're going to trace our left hand in front of us. Keep your right hand on your hip. And then for our side angle pose today, we're going to try going into it a little bit differently. Bring your left hand to the inside of the thigh. Keep your elbow lifted toward the sky. Now we're going to hinge only at that right hip. The gaze is in front of you and the chin stays tucked. Relax your right knee. And then we're gonna draw the right arm up. Don't worry about your left hand and your left knee for now. Shoulders together, gaze can come up. And then fire up that right arm. Allow the right arm to help you straighten the right side of the ribs. For the last few breaths, I'd like us all to extend the left arm on the inside of the left leg and gently press your left forearm into the knee to help you stay lifted with the body. One more breath. As you exhale, release, gaze down. You can pivot the right foot toward the top of your mat, lower the right knee, and then come up into low lunge. Arms lift, we'll bend the elbows and open the heart into that crescent. Take three breaths, let each exhale allow you to deepen the bend in your left knee and open that right hip just a little bit more. On your next inhale, rise back up. And then release the hands down. We'll step back either into high plank or into tabletop. And then take your chaturanga coming back into down dog. Take three breaths here. As you're ready, the right leg will lift. Point the right toes, expand up, deep full inhale. And then as you exhale, step it forward, warrior two. I think our shoulders have had enough opening this morning. So this time, let's keep our hands on our hips, elbows out, gaze forward. Instead of opening the heart, we're going to use our lower chakras to stay grounded, drawing in what we deepestly crave. So on your inhale, we'll lean forward. And on your exhale, straighten that leg and reverse the warrior. You could always use one hand on the front of the abs and one on the low back. That's another way to get some good feedback on the core here. And take that three more times. As you exhale and you come back, Stay in your reverse warrior, draw the shoulders together, 
close the eyes and feel the belly breathing as it holds you up. We'll open the eyes, release the arms, come back into that warrior two. Left hand comes to the left hip. And then you can keep the right arm extended if you'd like or drop it down and then begin to tilt at the hip. Gaze comes to the side, chin stays tucked. We'll lift the left arm and allow the left pinky toes to draw energy up the left leg into the left arm. Extend that right arm down and press it to the inside of the right calf and take full side angle pose, breathe. Can you bring your knee over your ankle a little bit more? Good, and really press that in as you look up and twist, beautiful. Do you feel that? So, nope, you're good, I'm just helping. There you go, good. Shayla, beautiful. Yes. All right, Shayla, lift that left arm up and then gaze up if you can, up towards the left hand. One more big breath, beautiful. And then we'll go ahead, we'll come all the way up, twist to the top of your mat, lower that left knee down, come to cactus arms, inhale, open the heart. Three breaths, deepen a little bit more forward as we open this heart. And then as you're ready, release. You can sweep the right leg back, plant the palms. Let's all come up into our plank for one big inhale. And take a chaturanga or come right back into your down dog. Walk the fingertips back towards the feet, forward fold, and go ahead and heel toe the feet nice and wide. We're gonna take our peace fingers between the big toe and the second toe, elbows out to the sides, soft knees. Use the breath as you inhale to pull up on the toes. And as you exhale, melt the head down. Two more breaths. And slowly release your bind. We're gonna keep the feet where they are and maybe pivot the toes out towards one o'clock and 11. Bend into the knees and slowly roll yourself up into a king chair. So arms are back. Shoulders are down, beautiful. Find a drishti and for balance today, we're gonna take a dynamic movement. We're gonna bring the weight into the left foot and you can watch this first time if you'd like. On the inhale, we're gonna pretend that we're grasping and lifting up onto the left leg to bend the right knee up. And on the exhale, coming back down into your king chair and then switch sides. Exhale and lift. Now, if you want an energetic practice that focuses on the physical body, you're gonna think of this as a crunch as you come up. You're gonna think of this as a squat as you press down. If you want a breath work and the meditative experience, you're gonna use that energy and say that the world is supporting me as I lift my knee and I am supporting the world as I land and melt. We're gonna go back and forth two more times.
This last time as you land, you can take that last squat if you feel you need to. And then come up, release the hands. Woo, go ahead. My knees have been bothering me lately. Woo, it's new for me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just bring the hands to the sides, close the eyes, keep the legs relatively straight, and just press the hips forward. Chin can stay tucked. Let the shoulders drop. And each breath gently rises and drops the shoulders. The glutes are engaged, holding our body up. But we're giving that front body a rest. Open the eyes and find a drishti. We'll straighten back out and bring the feet together into mountain pose. We're gonna do standing pigeon. Find the right foot. Find all five right toes. Find your balance on the right side. Feel free to come to a wall. And as you're ready, we'll lift the left knee and cross it over that right thigh. Left fingertips rest on the inside of the left thigh and just gently press the knee down with a flexed left foot. If you need more of a stretch, you'll begin to bend at the right knee. And you can bring your right hand to rest on the right ankle as well. Remember to lengthen the neck. Beautiful. And then slowly come up and out. Release. Let's go ahead and roll out the left ankle. And then plant the left heel and roll out the left knee. Make your rolling in the other direction. Okay, back to mountain. Find your drishti. Spread those left toes. Find your balance on the left side first. Don't be afraid to get into the pose even longer than you're actually in it. And as you're ready, we'll bring the right ankle to cross over. Take your time as you press the right hand into the right thigh. And whenever you're ready, you can begin to bend the knee and plant both hands on the ankle and inner knee. Two more breaths. Great job, guys. And slowly come up, release, and rock out that ankle first, and then the right knee. Okay, we're going to take that one more time, but yogi's choice. If you're working on balance today, I want you to stay standing, not folding with hands at the heart, and take a lot of time to get into the pose. If you're working on deepening the hip, then you're going to come up and you're going to really bend and lower the fingertips down. So it's no longer a balance pose. It becomes a deeper hip opener, okay? So as you're ready, we'll start on one side, whichever side you would like, and take your time setting up. Master the art of coming into the pose. Take your time to slowly release whenever you're ready. And then we'll come back into that side bend. Left hand to the hip, right arm rises. Press the right hip out and bend and roll out the right knee in this side bend. Just to get all that connective tissue. Inhale, come up, look up, big breath. Exhale back to center. 
and take your time coming into the next side. If you spend more time getting into the pose, knowing how your body finds balance, that is yoga. Few more breaths. And then as you're ready, slowly begin to come out. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Wiggle the knee on the left side. Rock the circles, the hips. One more breath. And then as you exhale, release to center. Deep inhale, look up. And as you exhale, sweep the arms back, begin to bend the knees, come down to sit. Place our legs out in front of us and widen them a bit. Palms open and close the eyes here. Relax the jaw and take three deep breaths. Begin to drop the chin down toward the chest. This idea of taking our time coming into the pose, relax the shoulders and breathe into the back of the neck. And as you exhale, flip the palms down on top of the knees and slowly begin to take a wide legged forward fold. Use your breath to get into the pose. Listen to your body. Not because you don't wanna hurt it, that's important. Not because you want to have the best pose ever, that's not important. But listen to your body and notice how your body comes into your forward fold. Do your inhales help you to lengthen the legs or the back? Do your exhales help you to release tension or do they help you to melt? There's no wrong answer. We're gonna literally take about five breaths as we actively come into this forward fold. So before you become passive, Allow each breath to be a movement deeper into the pose based off of the feedback your body is giving you. And when you've landed, relax everything and take three very deep, full breaths. Feel free to sigh out of the mouth. You can blink the eyes open and slowly begin to roll yourself up to sit. For our final pose, we'll twist. We'll bring the left leg forward, flex the left foot, and go ahead and bend the right knee, cross it over the right thigh. To start, we're gonna use our left hand on the left knee firmly, elbows lifted, and bring the right fingertips behind you. Allow that right shoulder to open. No matter how twisty you are, start here and inhale, drawing the shoulders down, the torso up, and then exhale, use your hand to deepen the twist. Keep your chin over the center of your chest. Take two more breaths without moving that left arm or hand. Inhale, lift, exhale, press into the fingertips of both hands to deepen. Last one. 
And then if you'd like to get tighter with this left arm, bringing the elbow, you can. If you need to bring the hand up, you can. We'll take three more breaths. Be gentle if you're craving that. Be active if you're craving activity. And then slowly come back around. Roll out those shoulders. Take an inhale and staff pose. Exhale, forward fold. Really inhale as you come down to stretch nice and long. And then exhale, release the feet. Roll up. We'll set up on the other side. And the reason I'm doing this slowly with the right hand and the right elbow lifted, three breaths as you breathe in to lift and turn, is because our egos often force us to try to take poses as hardcore or as big as we can. Unfortunately, our society's goal for constant progression and bigger and better doesn't let us notice those little pieces that add up. Take one more breath. And then as you feel called to, you can tighten and deepen the right arm around the knee or lift the hand. Two more. And then exhale to release to center. Extend the legs, shake out the knees. And we'll go ahead and we're going to come to sit. Cross the legs the opposite way than you usually do. Palms are up. Lean forward and tuck the chin. Close the eyes. Relax your sit bones. Draw the shoulders back and then melt the elbows and the shoulders. We're going to inhale here. Reach the crown up and away from our groin towards the top corner of our space. As you exhale, relax the knees. One more breath, reach. And this time as you exhale, keep the eyes closed and allow the body to come back so it's over the hips, nice and tall. Relax the jaw and the tongue. Take a few deep breaths and then allow the breath to come in and out organically. Take a few moments to finalize what you'd like to take off your mat with you today. It can be the intention from your card. It can be what you were reaching for in Warrior Two. It can be this idea that aggressively reaching goals is not always the best way and we can just allow them to come to us. Relax the jaw and breathe in that intention for your Wednesday. And as the sun shines on this beautiful day, on this beautiful group, let's all smile together, sending love out toward one another. We'll take a big inhale, reach the arms up overhead joyously. And as we exhale, let's draw hands to heart center. May the sun shine on you today and know that you're not alone ever. Namaste.